When I first got out of the SAT, I actually thought I did rather well. Um, for me, at least, I think it might have been because of all the practice at exam club. Um, so when I got out of it, I thought it was easier than most of the practice tests I've actually taken. And for me, the most challenging sections I thought on the test was grammar and, uh, and it's in the writing parts, and obviously critical reading, the reading comprehension. Um, the grammar parts um, in the writing section was probably the hardest. Um, I had some problems, didn't know my grammar rules that well, and you know, kind of stumbled upon a few things. But um, surprisingly, when I got to the critical reading section, I did pretty well. Um, I thought the reading comprehension and the passages were easier than the ones I've seen um, during my times at Testmaster Exam Club, and I think the practice actually helped me a lot. Well, uh, to the days after I took my SAT, like I said, I thought I did rather well, so I wasn't too worried about it. And because it was still, this was in January, so it was in the middle of the school year, and um, for the first two or three weeks, especially during the middle, I actually completely forgot about it. And, but it was always you know, inside my mind because in the last week, especially the last two or three days, every, you know, all of my classmates that took it with me started reminding each other and the nerve wracking pressure starts coming up and we all start worrying. And on the day that the scores come out, uh, a group of friends with me, uh, we all checked it online at our school. And Everyone did rather well, and when it was my turn, I found out I got a perfect score. You know, I screamed, got really excited. My teacher was asking us what was wrong, and we told him, so it was pretty exciting. And that I told basically all of my friends, and we all did really well, so it was like congratulations all around. And when I got home, I was about to tell my mother, but apparently I didn't know that my mom checked online as well. So we were both trying, trying to tell each other, and it turned out that we both knew it. So it was a great day, and it was really exciting to find out that I got a perfect score on the SAT. Um, I think I took test masters the summer before, around probably June or July in 2010. And the teachers were really nice. They were very helpful. They managed to make um, teaching fun. You know, we had some pretty funny teachers out there. And, uh, but really, Test Masters was great. Um, I think what helped me um, the most in Test Masters was the practice, because I think that's the most important thing. Um, practice, and especially critical reading and writing portions, um, going over passages over and over again. And finally, the best thing that I got from Test Masters, during the class at least, is the essay template that they give you. Because if you just follow the essay template, it's almost a guaranteed 12, and that's what I did, and that's what I got. So I was really grateful for that. I really recommend anyone that's taking the SAT to take Test Masters, because it's great for practice, and also you get a wonderful uh, book, a huge book with about six tests that you can take, and it was really helpful. And most importantly, you also receive an essay template, which I think really helps, because before I took Test Masters, I had no idea how to start on the essay, and it was one of my biggest worries. But mostly, along with Test Masters, whenever you take it, you get a wonderful thing called Exam Club, and that is probably the most helpful thing you will ever see, because for what I think, in order to be successful at the SAT, what I did was I ha didn't prepare before I took Test Masters, and I had no idea what I was supposed to do. And Test Masters did a great thing. It gave me several practice tests that basically gouged my abilities. And one, I mean, I scored pretty low on a few of those tests, and I started worrying. So they presented me with Exam Club, and for the basically two months before the SAT, I went almost every weekend. And I'm pretty sure by the end of it, I've taken almost every single SAT practice test they had available. And it really helps because, I mean, the most worrying sections, like I said, I thought were the writing and reading section. And of course, you should always mem try to memorize as much vocabulary as you can and also grammar rules. But sometimes those don't help you because there's just these weird problems. And if you take enough practice tests, you'll realize the patterns that goes along with a lot of these problems. And like I said, sometimes when taking the real SAT, it might seem easier than most of the practice sets you've taken.
So I really recommend Test Masters, and ex um, especially Exam Club. I recommend you go to it as often as you can and take as many practice as you can right before the SAT. Um, I really don't have much plans for college right now. I'm, I mean, it, I'm probably going to apply to some of the IVs, but I really doubt I'll get in. Um, what I'm looking at for college right now is probably either Rice or UT Austin. They seem like pretty, like really decent schools with cheap prices, as we all, you know, hope for. So, um, and as for majors, I'm looking at either maybe something in the medical field or. Um, I've always thought about engineering, perhaps electrical engineering was what I was going for. So um, honestly, I haven't really thought about these decisions, but in 10 years, you know, maybe as a doctor if I work hard enough or as an electrical engineer. And like I said, I'll probably go into UT Austin or Rice.